Hey everybody, how's it going? I thought that I'd have a little fun trying to keep squirrels off of the sunflower seed bird feeder. Now we've all got this problem, right? Normally I would shoot the squirrels, I know, sounds cruel, but I eat them and I've got a mess of them in the freezer. Right now is breeding season and I'd hate to shoot a mama and have her not be able to go out to her babies. So the idea is this. I have a very small electric fence charger that's gonna plug into the house. Outdoor outlet, ground fault circuit interrupter, protected from the weather. And then I'm gonna run strands of electric fence wire around the vertical post and a couple of them up here. But the difference between this and regular electric fencing is I have to have next to each other the ground and the hot wires. Because if a squirrel's up here, and it's not touching the ground, the wood doesn't conduct electricity. And so the squirrel, even if it touches the hot wire, it's not gonna go back to ground, so the squirrel's not gonna get popped. So what I'm gonna do is extend the ground wire and then have the hot wire. And when the squirrel makes contact with two of those wires, it's gonna get a little pop. And again, it's a very low wattage electric fence charger. All right, let's begin with the hot wire. That is the fence wire. It's red on this electric fence charger. And I've got some insulated wire so that if a dog or something walks by here, it doesn't get popped. Make a little bend in it, put it over the bolt. And now this is going to come down. I'm going to bury it under this landscape fabric. I've got a trench where I'm going to put this just under the surface, going to the base of the bird feeder. Okay, so here's that line that I just buried, and I'm gonna be using these special fence staples that have this little protective plastic piece. It's really not necessary, but I had them on hand. So now I'm going to connect to this insulated hot wire to my galvanized electric fence wire. This is 17 gauge, and I'm gonna use a crimp sleeve to do that. Okay, the way a crimp sleeve works is this goes over that. This electric fence wire is gonna come through the other side. And now I've got a tool that will pinch this together. There. Now those two are nice and secured, and I'll just bring this up just to make extra sure. I might wrap it in electrical tape as well. And then I'm going to staple it into the base of this post. Now what I'm going to do is spiral this hot wire all the way up. And I'm going to do that with, again, these fence staples with the little plastic on it. So I'm just going to go diagonally like a candy cane. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got the hot wire coming up out of the ground, spiraling around the post. You see all the squirrel scratches, so we know it's going to walk over there. I've avoided these metal parts, came up to the bird feeder, and this is the hot wire, came around that rail and that rail. So now what we're gonna do is put the ground wire just far enough that a bird won't make the connection, but a big fat squirrel with its fleshy feet will. Okay, so that's our hot line going up the pole and around the bird feeder, and that's gonna be energized. Now we need the ground. Now, you can buy a ground rod. I'm just using a piece of rebar that I have pounded into the ground and I've got a hose clamp on it. Take a short piece of insulated ground wire. Go ahead, put your bend in it, connect it to the ground. So that's the green. That is the green side on this one. La Tierra, the earth ground. Okay, so now this is going to come up from underneath and I'm gonna put it under this hose clamp and then tighten it. But then I'm gonna have another insulated ground wire going all the way down there. And you see the concept. This is the ground, so it's touching the ground rod, and then the ground rod is also going to go along, and I'm gonna have a ground wire going up so that if the squirrel makes contact with both the ground and the hot wire, it should get popped. All right, so let's follow the ground. The ground coming off the green goes to the ground rod where it makes contact. Then the uninsulated end of another ground wire makes contact with the ground rod. Then it becomes insulated so that it doesn't corrode when I bury this. Comes up here 
And you see now, the two wires, this is the hot, this is the ground, are gonna run parallel all the way around the pole so that if a squirrel touches both, it gets popped. Okay, up here, the ground goes up underneath and the ground is about an inch and a half away from the hot wire. So if a squirrel is touching here and touches here, it's gonna get popped. The birds usually just perch on this outer perch and then go ahead and peck at the seed. I know what you're thinking. What if a bird gets popped? Well, I was thinking about that. First of all, the feathers of the bird are gonna protect its chest if it leans in for a seed. I tried to use electric fencing for chickens once, doesn't work. The feathers protect them from the pop. Secondly, their feet are really keratinized, like your fingernail, shouldn't conduct electricity very well, but also, even if it did go through their feet, the foot would have to be all the way from here to here, which is a distance like this, so it would basically have to have one foot on one, one foot on the other, because one foot is not gonna span that distance. We're gonna give this a try. If there's any indication that we're zapping birds, we're gonna disconnect the whole thing and just have it from here down. Okay, just to remind you, this is a super low voltage, so it's 0.1 amp, 10 watts. It's recommended for pets and small animals only. I don't wanna kill the squirrels. I just wanna give them a nice pop. Okay, here's my electric fence tester. Shall we turn it on? All right, don't make contact with the two wires. So plug it in. My little indicator, you know it's not a constant electricity uh, stream, it's a pulse. Let's see what we're getting down here. Okay, so the way that this one works, you plug the probe in the ground, touch this to the wire, and I'm getting 1.7 kilovolts. So for goats, I'm usually two to 4,000. So this is 1.7, let's test it up at the top. All right, this is closer to the top, 1.73. So again, if anything touches those two at the same time, it's gonna get a quick pop, and then hopefully it's gonna learn. Now, we're gonna go inside and wait for the exciting conclusion to this story. Okay, here's the view from my living room, and I just wanted to point out, I disconnected the top ones so that the only thing that's live is going down the pole, because the first cardinal that landed on there really seemed to be popped. Look at that custom little bend in that branch, just for that little tufted titmouse. Here's the D. What? That D. The chickadee. Yeah, they're not affected. All right, so this is version 2.0. Still got the ground and the hot wire candy caning the pole. And then up here at the top, I took off the wires there so that the birds don't get shocked. But those two diagonals, those are hot. <laughs> Please, please pop it. Pop that bastard. Come on, baby. Oh, and it's raining. Could you imagine the pop? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we'll climb that pole. Go ahead. Oh, it's unlimited seed. Yeah, go ahead. Come on, pop it. Pop it, baby. How are you not getting popped? I don't know. Pop it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, you want some of this? Yeah, no, come on. Don't worry about that dove. Yeah, this bird feeder is yours. Come on, let's give this a little try, huh? Right here, we got a little, we got a little treat for you. Oh no, you don't want it? Okay, you're gonna sneak up, you're gonna sneak up. Obstacles of the tree. I'm telling you right now, this is the greatest quarantine entertainment ever. Yeah, come on. Oh, morning dove's gonna fight you. Uh -huh. Gonna fight you for the seed. Come on. Come on, you little SOB. Don't take that from the dove. Get on that pole. Poppity pop, poppity pop. Come on, baby. Pop. Pop it. Come on, baby. Come on, I wasn't missing it. I wasn't missing it. 
it. Okay, hold on. Okay. I got a solution. Okay, we got a squirrel on the feeder. We're gonna try to give it a little shimmy shimmy. Boom! <laughs> 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 <laughs>